Table four. Breakfast. Cherry trifle, creme brulee, two black forest gato, and the DNA of a kiwi fruit, please. What, DNA from a kiwi fruit? You're joking. I could extract it from you, but I just happen to have two kiwi fruit in my fridge here. We can extract the DNA from those easily enough. What I've got to do is break the cells down so it's to release the DNA. Let's smash those up. So we've already started releasing the DNA from the cells of that kiwi fruit. To help that extraction process along, I need some salt, some washing up liquid, and some water. I've got some water there. Right, so half a fistful of salt, about that much salt. Good long squirt of uh, ordinary washing up liquid. Oh yeah. And yeah. Too much, yeah, we'll have that, that much water. So let's mush that up, give it a good mix. And then we'll drop it in here. Yeah, it's just 50. So let's take it up to 60 Celsius, and that should be nice. And we leave that just boiling, simmering away for about 15 minutes. DNA is dissolved in the water, kind of cloudy still. There we go. It's coming through. Okey cokey, pig in a pokey, we got enough there. Now, let's just transfer some of this very carefully into this glass. We don't need to put all of it, it's just about depth of three centimeters. I'm gonna pour this meth very gently down the side of the big glass there. Now, I know meths and water do mix, but I want them to mix as little as possible. So there we are, put the nets in. Now, remember I told you that the, the DNA was dissolved in the water? Well, the reason I haven't mixed the meths and the water up is that I want an interface between the two. Because DNA isn't soluble in meths, it doesn't dissolve in meths. If you look closely, where the purple layer meets the uh, yellow layer, can you see that, like, cotton walk? Is that cloudiness? That's the DNA from the kiwi fruit. Look at that. DNA from a kiwi fruit. Absolutely amazing. Oh, got the microwave. Forgot to put the microwave on. 